Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. From this video, we are kicking off section 2 of our course that is cryptocurrency. And we're gonna start with what is Bitcoin. So in this video, we will understand and learn different concepts like blockchain, bitcoins, protocol, coins and tokens. These concepts are confused and people are misled. It. So we will make things clear in this video. Okay, so in crypto world, there are mainly three important layers. Layer 1 is technology, layer 2 is protocol and it also includes coin and finally layer 3 is token. In layer 1 that is technology, we have blockchain. We have already discussed about blockchain in section 1. Then layer 2 that is protocol, we have things like bitcoin. It is very important to understand that bitcoin is not just a coin, it's not just a currency, it's an actual protocol. By protocol, we mean sets of rules that guides how participants over the network communicate with each other. For example, TCP IP, HTTP, etc. IP is the internet protocol that allows us to participate in the internet. HTTP is a hypertext transfer protocol which allows our browser to display websites correctly. So Bitcoin is no different. It is a protocol that defines sets of rules for participants in the Bitcoin network on how to communicate with each other and agree on things like how they come into consensus, which we learn in section 1, and it also defines how public key and signatures must be used for authentication, which we will learn in the coming video. Besides Bitcoin, we have also lots of other protocols in crypto like Ethereum. You might have heard about it, recently it has moved from proof of work to proof of stake consensus protocol, then we have Ripple, Neo, Litecoin, and lots of other. They all rely on single technology that is blockchain. And all of these protocols have an important feature with them that we call the coin. Each one of them has its own coin, Bitcoin has Bitcoin, Ethereum has Ethers, like that. And a coin is a net asset of the protocol which facilitates interaction of players like reward people for mining, adding blocks, perform transactions like that. So this is the coin. Now in layer 3, we have token. You have heard about ICO, initial coin offering, like an IPO on stock market. ICO is sometimes misunderstood or misled. It is actually about token, even though it is called initial coin offering. Tokens are offered here. We will talk about ICOs and token more on section 3, but right now it is important to understand difference that coins are in layer 2, while tokens are in layer 3. Tokens rely on smart contracts which are built on the top of different protocols that we see in layer 2. For example, we have Ethereum. It is the most popular protocol for creating smart contracts and for creating token. It has lots of tokens, hundreds of token. These are few of them. But if you look at Bitcoin, it has no token. Because it does not facilitate the concept of creating smart contracts, so we cannot create token in Bitcoin. Ripple also does not have any token. Neo have token, some of them are these. So this is how the world of cryptocurrencies, crypto technology and blockchain work. As we can see here, three layers, layer 1 we talked in section 1, then layer 2 which we will be talking in this section, and layer 3 we will cover in section 3. Ok so what is Bitcoin actually? Bitcoin was invented in 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto, a white paper was published under the name Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008 which explained this whole system. Lots of detail, all ideas, many ideas we talked in section 1 and many ideas which we will talk in section 2. Then in 2009, the Bitcoin system was implemented. Bitcoin is about taking the blockchain technology which we cover in detail in section 1 from the theoretical to practical application. So that a network of people can transact with each other using this technology in order to remove the middleman or intermediary between them. Even though they haven't met before, they can still trust each other because they trust the technology behind it. So that layer 2 is all about creating the protocol of how can people transact an inherent component of transacting is exchange of value. And that's why coins are part of layer 2 that is part of protocol. And that's why the protocol removes one of the biggest intermediary that we know about the banking system. As we can see here, there is no bank in the middle that people are transacting through. So layer 2 is all about creating the system so that people can transact with each other without the intermediary. And finally, the Bitcoin ecosystem includes the following participants. There are nodes which are not mining in the network but wants to participate in the network and perform transactions. Then there are miners who are responsible for growing the blockchain network by mining, adding transactions into block and block into blockchain. 
Then there are large miners, having lots of power, lots of devices and equipment, which have large contribution in the growth of blockchain. And finally we have mining pool, where miners get together to work together on the mining process. So this is all about Bitcoin and the Bitcoin ecosystem. Important thing to know is, Bitcoin is not just a coin, it is a protocol that facilitates the blockchain technology. And I would also like to suggest this original white paper from Satoshi Nakamoto, Bitcoin a peer-to-peer electronic cash system, you can get it from the bitcoin.org or I'll provide the link in the description. And on this note, I'll see you in the next video.